Yo what is going on guys, welcome back to a brand new Fortnite Battle Royale video here on my channel. So in today's video guys, since we're so close to the release of Season 7, exactly a week away on the Battle Pass timer for Season 6 counting down towards an end, I figured today would be the perfect time and opportunity for me to present you guys all the possible working ways of which you guys could obtain a free Season 7 Battle Pass upon the release of Season 7 in only 7 days so you guys have, you know, time to prepare in a suitable amount of time so you can actually decide which method you want to use in order to get a free season 7 battle pass and I keep referring to the fact of there's many methods because of the fact it's surprising at how many people don't know there's you know simple ways that you can actually get a free battle pass every season that comes around new and obviously in this case being Fortnite season 7. There's many methods that I'm going to be going over in today's video so you guys want to be watching till the end of the video to get all the methods and obviously then summarize which method will suit you the very best in order to obtain one the quickest simple and timeless or effortless possible way. So quickly before we get into any of the methods that you guys can actually you know proactively do within the game right now I'd just like to announce two giveaways of season 7 battle passes that I'm running on the channel the first one being the 2800 free v-book giveaway that I run on my channel every month not just this month because there's a new season releasing as you guys may or may not know with every season that releases we get two options of the viable battle pass the bundle which is 2800 v-books which is what I'm giving away essentially at the end of this month in two days time in the first upload of December the winner will be announced and then the standard bundle starts you out at tier 1 will only cost you 950 V-Bucks so if you guys would like to enter this giveaway whether you want a battle pass bundle for yourself or just generally wanting to buy someone else as well as yourself a season 7 battle pass starting you at tier 1 all you need to do to enter the 2008 free V-Buck giveaway for the month of November literally ending in 2 days is leave a like on this video down below subscribe to my YouTube channel with post notifications turned on so you never miss a future upload when I upload whatever I upload follow my Twitter linked in the video description down below and comment down below on this very video letting me know you've completed all the above steps so I can check across your social media platforms to see the fulfillment of the requirements I've set and guys you need to be following all the steps and including that you have done so in your entry comment down below on today's video whether you name all the steps one by one that you've completed in a list like format or simply state in the comment that you've completed all the above steps in order to enter the 2800 free v-book giveaway either one will qualify also to commemorate and celebrate the festivity of Christmas coming around the corner which ultimately Fortnite Battle Royale season 7 will be entirely based around in terms of the theme and everything included within it me and a buddy called deluxe players have teamed up and decided to give away four season 7 battle passes to basically celebrate the release of season 7 and these battle passes will be given away and announced on the release date of season 7 how you guys can enter to win one of four that we're giving away obviously with increased odds because we're giving away four not just one bundle of 2800 free v bucks is simply by following the rules listed at the top of the video description down below and upon completing all those steps stated in the video description simply drop us a comment on the video that you're specifically watching letting us know that you've completed all the above steps in the video description down below and that will enter you in the chance of winning one of four season 7 battle passes that we're going to be giving away on the very release date of Fortnite Battle Royale season 7 so you guys have a good chance of obviously tearing up all the way to tier 100 and unlocking all the cosmetics within the battle pass that you're ultimately entitled to so good luck to everybody who wants to enter either giveaway that I've just announced whether it's the 2800 free v but giveaway or the four season 7 battle pass giveaway that me and deluxe players are going to be announcing like I said on the release date of season 7. They are not the proactive methods that I actually made this video ultimately based around. I'm going to be giving you guys methods, working methods that you guys can go out of your way and simply earn V-Bucks in order to buy the battle pass for completely free right now starting out with. If you guys have saved the world or not I recommend buying it because it's a cheap and good investment in order to actually earn free V-Bucks and if you follow the steps that I'm about to mention you guys will be able to earn daily rewards like this on your screen right now opening a gift box and receiving 500 v bucks and this will not only happen just the once there will be different sets of 50 v bucks that you can earn 150 v bucks 300 v bucks 500 v bucks and much much more so make sure you're sticking around and listening to the information i'm about to present you guys very very carefully so the very first method of how you guys can earn back your v bucks and obviously you know make the most of the money you've spent to save the world which is a good investment like i just mentioned because a lot of people are buying v bucks and not ultimately thinking about you know is this worth the amount of V-Bucks in terms of the real life money I'm spending? However, 
Ultimately, in Save the World, you can have an unlimited amount earned, and here is one of the easiest methods that literally requires you to do nothing effort entailed or strenuous. All you need to do is simply log in to Save the World, as there is daily kind of, you know, bonuses and rewards for simply being loyal and obviously logging in every day, and you don't even have to play. Like, all you need to do is log in and claim your login reward, and the more days that you log in, in a row, the high reward. So let's say every five to 10 days that you're gonna be getting a V-Book reward, in the higher region of like, you know, 60, 100 days, you're going to be earning every five days or so, like 300 or 500 V-Bucks for simply just logging in. And it's not like this even takes a lot of time. I believe every average player, ultimately the target audience of Fortnite being children, will have the time within their day at some point, whether it's even like before they go to bed or wake up in the morning, to simply log on as it takes a matter of minutes and ultimately earn their daily reward from basically doing nothing. And after a while, when you're obviously getting to the 70-day login streak mark, you're going to be earning earning even more of a reward in terms of the amount of V-Bucks obviously rewarded to you as a player for being loyal and logging on every day and I believe it will become subconsciously part of your routine to do so which essentially after a while may leave you thinking if you don't spend the V-Bucks how did I get them because honestly I'm just used to doing this every day now. Speaking of earning simple and easy V-Bucks nearly every day where you guys can have a solid way of earning at least 50 V-Bucks per day by completing one daily challenge as you guys may or may not know in Battle Royale we get daily challenges that reward us with XP well in Save the World it's no different apart from the fact that we earn V-Bucks instead of the XP towards our level. The system works pretty much the same in Save the World as you get one daily challenge which can either reward you with 50 or 100 V-Buck tokens and you can only have three in the daily section of challenges or quests at a time so say for a fact if you don't complete any of them three in the three day period you will not receive any new ones or any above the three mark you will just simply have to complete the three that you're actually allocated at the time and then you will receive new ones so I definitely recommend as soon as you're receiving these daily challenges if you have saved the world or are going to buy it that you hop on and complete them as soon as possible to receive even more daily challenges when the time comes around to be rewarded with more. So the next method on how you guys can earn free V-Bucks, and I believe this to be the fastest, almost efficient way, especially if one of your friends actually has saved the world already and a ton of cool items within their collection book. If you guys didn't know, you have a collection book where you can, you know, basically collect skins, items, and rare guns within the game, and you can also clear out this collection book, which will, you know, reward you and level up your collection book, and at certain levels you will get rewards, obviously, and if you sell a higher tier kind of, you know, rare item, say for a fact a legendary one, the lower level you are, the more rewards you're going to get for levelling up your collection book and thus have a higher chance of getting the 500 V-Book reward from your collection book sale. If you aren't a YouTuber and you're new to save the world, I guarantee since Fortnite is such a big game and has such a, you know, active audience on the game that you have at least one friend who's willing to give you some cool or rare items that they've grinded for ultimately and then you can sell them within your collection book for some V-Bucks. So if you ask them kindly to actually hook you up and maybe you do a different favour for them yourself, whether it's, you know, within in Fortnite Battle Royale helping them get a win or something or in real life it doesn't matter but I definitely recommend that as a very reliable method but I would definitely say that's the fastest method to earn a good amount of V-Bucks or the most amount of V-Bucks at once and if you guys are combining all the methods that I just mentioned about Save the World and the ways that you can earn free V-Bucks you'll have enough for at least the standard Season 7 Battle Pass which releases in 7 days so you have plenty of time to earn V-Bucks and ultimately if you grinded the game out it would literally take you like 2 days in order to way surpass in terms of the V-Buck amount of buying the standard season 7 battle pass. Many of you guys may have heard also across social media that Fortnite Save the World was initially meant to be coming free in 2018, however there's some more updated information that it'll be coming early 2019 as they want to perfect it when all available players can actually play it for free. And if you guys don't believe me, well here's someone from Save the World's development team and he'll explain everything that you need to know about Save the World and when it will be releasing for free, ultimately meaning that everybody can earn free V-Bucks. Hello Fortnite community. Billy here from the Save the World team with a special announcement. After careful consideration, we've decided to delay the full free-to-play launch of Save the World out of 2018. Since the initial release of the game, we've added several new features and quality of life improvements, along with new events, heroes, and items. We still have more we'd like to do before going free. We want to make sure that all of our players, both old and new, 
have a great experience, so we'll be doing some technical and performance work in order to handle the scale of a full launch. So if you guys didn't believe me for whatever reason, you heard it crystal clear there that in 2019 early on, Save the World will be completely free, and obviously crossing into 2019 will be Fortnite Season 7 in terms of the Battle Royale season that's concurrent, and I definitely believe at this time in 2019 when Season 7 is still the ongoing season, Save the World will drop for completely free, and if you guys don't have the Battle Pass by then, well, you can just simply go and save the world for completely free, earn some V-Bucks and buy it for free. The final method is actually one that not many people are practically using on the internet, however I know a lot of my friends in real life are using this working method as they've never purchased a battle pass in terms of spending real life money on V-Bucks since Fortnite Battle Royale Season 3 and they've always made it to Tier 100 within that specific season and that is actually a vital part in the method that I'm about to present you guys so make sure you're listening carefully. The way this works is that in every battle pass ultimately you can earn up to 1,500 V-Bucks. So every tier that you get up you will get a specific reward and one of them will be a certain amount of V-Bucks and a great way to basically transfer the money you paid for the V-Bucks in order to pay for a specific battle pass in the first place is simply by not spending any of the V-Bucks on item shop items as they cost a lot more of what you would get for the value of them V-Bucks in terms of how many cosmetics you get if you bought the newest battle pass by saving the V-Bucks that you would earned in the battle pass. That doesn't mean that you can't spend any of the V-Bucks that you've earned in the battle pass currently going on at all on anything that may be cheap and cool that you want from the item shop. Obviously, a battle pass every season costs a minimal of 950 V-Bucks and in a battle pass you can earn up to 1,500 V-Bucks. If you do the correct math, you will have 450 V-Bucks spare left over to spend on whatever you want unless you're saving for the battle pass bundle which costs 2,800 V-Bucks which wouldn't be a thing that you'd be able to save for every season. However, a lot of people on their account have around 250 V-Bucks spare left over or a certain amount left over because ultimately they never spend the accurate amount of which they've initially purchased entirely from the Fortnite store. Hopefully that clarified all the actual working methods upon how you can get every battle pass or specifically in this case the Season 7 Battle Pass 4 completely free upon its release on December the 6th. So thank you all for watching today's video. Make sure you're leaving a like in the video down below if you enjoyed all this helped you and make sure you're sharing this method to friends to save them some money. And also if you want to see more Fortnite Season 7 videos make sure you're subscribing to the channel down below with those post notifications turned on by hitting the big bell and I'll hope Hopefully see you guys in those future videos I'm posting on the channel when you comment down below in the comment section. Thank you all for watching one more time and peace.